When Charlie Grieg would leave for work, he'd tell his family he was off to find a mine. But as a seasoned geologist, he knew the odds were against him. I know how difficult it really is to, to do that. And, you know, even if I'm telling my kids when I'm leaving home, yeah, I'm going off to find a mine, I'm not sure that I ever really believed it. If you have hard work and, and dedication and work with good people and have some good fortune, you know, it really can be done. Beating the odds, Charlie and his team found two deposits in northern British Columbia. It all happened by chance when Charlie revisited a presentation a colleague had shown him as an example for another project. I looked at it and right away the light bulb kind of went on because I saw some of the soil geochemical values. And I, I started in this business as a soil sampler, so, you know, I know a little bit about dirt. <laughs> Charlie's belief in the project garnered the interest of investor Ross Beatty. Charlie's geological integrity was so profound. His, his arguments for, uh, for why there should be a large deposit were just compelling. The opportunity was huge, and that's the kind of risk reward uh, that I love. And so uh, it was an immediate sell, and I, I ended up becoming a large shareholder of GT Gold. I don't want to drill a property without looking at it on the ground. That's, you know, that's kind of what I do is make geologic maps, and I want to see what the geology looks like. We were only there for maybe five days or something like that, and we examined the property, took some more soil samples. The, the numbers from those soil geochemical samples were almost mineable. You could take a bucket and a shovel, and if you just dug in that spot, you could make money. GT Gold was created and went public in 2016. When drilling results were released, the stock soared. But it wasn't all smooth sailing for Saddle South. It is already a good deposit, but you know, maybe it wasn't as big as what the market really wanted. So the market just kills you and your share price goes down and you have to raise more money and dilute your shareholders. It's always a, a tough game. At the same time, they were exploring another trend called Saddle North. So we were doing some geophysics across both of the trends. And as we worked on the northern trend, we just kept stepping to the east. And the geophysical response was very good. In fact, it was so good that it was almost, eh, is this too good to be true? We just kept going because we kept seeing good things and it went a lot deeper than we initially planned. And that was really the discovery hole. We call it hole number 85 on the property. And yeah, it turned out to be fabulous. Ross Beatty maintained his faith in Charlie and the property. You know, he's such a great geologist that he was able to convince me and a lot of other people that this thing really had legs. So I kept all my stock, didn't sell a share, and just watched with great interest over the next two or three years as the Saddle North area became a significant gold copper porphyry deposit. In 2021, GT Gold was acquired by Newmont. So it was a classic case of really textbook geology and textbook mineral exploration from a very early stage to a successful conclusion with the discovery of an economic deposit. Beautiful. Charlie is happy to have made the discovery in the Golden Triangle in BC. And to find it in your home province and to create some wealth, you know, that hopefully will be shared, you know, fairly with everybody. I mean, to me, even just saying this myself kind of gives me goosebumps. Charlie went on to create C.J. Grieg and Associates, an exploration consulting company. It was Charlie's more than 35 years of experience as a geologist with a talent for mapping that allowed him to take the lead on discovering Saddle South and Saddle North. But Charlie said he couldn't have done it without a great team. It's like winning a Stanley Cup or something of mineral exploration when you're involved in a discovery, and that is a really cool thing and something that, you know, all of us can always share and be involved in and be, be proud about. <laughs>